in this video i will consider one example on parallel resonant circuit for the circuit shown below find two values of capacitor for the resonable consider frequency equal to 50 hertz this is the given circuit so it is a parallel resonant circuit so here we can observe that this is rl this is jxl this is rc and this will be minus jxc that is here this is nothing but rl this will be jxl and this will be rc this term will be minus jxc so in parallel resonance we supposed to calculate the value of c for which this circuit will resonate we know that parallel resonant circuit we know that the condition for resonance in parallel resonant circuit is given by that is the condition for resonance reson the condition for resonant in parallel circuit is given by xl divided by xl square plus rl square is equal to xc divided by xc square plus rc square that is net susceptance of the admittance is zero that is j term is zero then the parallel resonant circuit will resonate so here we can observe that the value of rl is rl is equal to 20 rc is equal to 10 and xl will be j xl xl is 37.7 37.7 ohm that is inductive reactance and capacitive reactance we don't know that is first we have to calculate the value of xc once if we find xc we can easily find c so we'll try to find xc first let me substitute xl value is 37.7 I will substitute the values that is 37.7 divided by 37.7 square plus RL RL value is 20 that is 20 square is equal to XC which is unknown I'll keep as it is XC square plus RC value is 10 that is 10 square let me simplify this that is 37.7 divided by I will simplify this term so it gives 1821.29 is equal to here we have xc divided by xc square plus 100 i will simplify this so it gives 20.6 20.70 into 10 power minus 3 is equal to xc divided by xc square plus 100 or i can write this term as xc square plus 100 divided by we have xc is equal to 1 upon i'll take this on left right hand side it will be 20.70 into 10 power minus 3 Simplifying further, xc square plus 100 divided by xc is equal to 48.31 or I can write it as xc square plus 100 is equal to 48.31 xc or xc square minus 48.31 xc plus 100 is equal to 0 so now let me calculate the value xc it's a quadratic equation so we'll try to solve for xc so we know that quadratic equation can be solved using the formula xc is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a so in this case a will be equal to 1 b is equal to bc that is minus 48.31 and this is c that is c is equal to 100 that is ax square plus bx plus c 
now let me substitute here i can call plus term i will take once minus term i will take it once so i can write xc1 is equal to minus b b is 1 here so here it is minus b is nothing but 48.31 plus under root we have b square 48.31 square minus 4 into 1 into 100 divided by we have 2 so let me solve this that is solving this i will get so it gives numerator gives 92.28 divided by 2 which gives 46.14 ohm so xc1 is 46.14 similarly now i will take it as minus in place of this plus i will take minus i will call it as xc2 that is xc2 is equal to equal to minus b that is 48.31 so in place of plus i will use minus that is minus v of 48.31 square minus 4 into 100 divided by 2 so simplifying this i can write so numerator gives 4.334 divided by 2 therefore xc2 is equal to v of 2.167 ohm so now with the help of xc1 and xc2 we can easily find c1 and c2 that is so we know that xc1 is nothing but 1 upon omega c1 that is 1 upon omega is nothing but 2 pi f into c1 that is xc1 value is already calculated that is 46.14 46.14 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into f f value is given that is 50 it is given in the problem that is 50 50 into c1 therefore i can write c1 is equal to we have 1 upon 2 pi into 50 into 46.14 so solving this i will get c1 is equal to it gives 68.98 into 10 power minus 6 farad that is c1 is equal to 68. 98 micro farad so similarly i can write x c2 is equal to 1 over omega c2 that is 1 over 2 pi f into c2 x c2 is calculated that is 2.167 167 is equal to 1 over 2 pi into 50 into c2 or c2 is equal to 1 over 2 pi into 50 into 2.167 therefore c2 is equal to it gives 1.468 micro farad thus we have calculated two values of capacitor it means that for C1 and C2, the given circuit will resonate for F equal to 50. Thank you for watching.